Hello everyone, I am Astral Dautankara and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be discussing about the basics of bit manipulation, a very important technique from the viewpoint of placements as well as coding contests. Watch the video till the end so that you do not miss out any important points. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. Before we move on, I am pre-assuming that you guys are already aware about the working of the bitwise operators like the AND gate, OR gate, XOR gate. As a revision, the AND gate results 1 if both of the inputs are 1. If at least one of the input is 0, then the AND gate results 0. For the OR gate, the output is 1 if at least one of the input is 1. If both of the inputs are 0, then the OR gate results 0. In the XOR gate, the output is 1 if both of the inputs are different. Else, if both of the inputs are same, then the output is 0. One more operator which I forgot to mention before was the left shift operator which basically shifts the bits to the left side by some value v. For example, if I want this number, then I will just type in the command 1 left shift 5 where the bits follow 0 based indexing. Now looking at the binary representation of a number, we classify each bit as one of these two types. If its value is 1 then it is called a set bit and if its value is 0 then it is called a not set bit or an unset bit. And based upon the value of each bit in that binary number, we usually perform these three operations. Checking if a bit is set, setting a bit or clearing a set bit. Let's look at the implementation for the first operation which was to check if a bit is set or not. For example, we take an integer 22 which in binary is represented as 10110 and we want to check if the bit at position 2 which is this bit is set or not. Now if you remember the AND operator, the output is 1 if both of the inputs are 1. So if we could somehow AND this number with another number which has a set bit at that particular position for which we are looking, then the result would be a non-zero number which indicates that the bit is set at that position. If, that, if this bit was 0, then the resultant would also have been 0 which means that the bit is not set at that position. Now to implement this logic, let's create a function called check bit which takes in an integer n and the position for which we are checking. And we will check if n and one left shift position which we discussed before if this result if the resultant output of this operation is a non-zero number then just print out a yes else if it is not then print out no we will check the function for the number which we use that is 22 and the bit is the second position now we should get yes and as expected if the bit here was 0 which uh, is the uh, which actually is the number 18 then the number resultant number would be 0 and this function would have returned us no now let's look at the another operation which is setting a bit which means to make the value of a bit at a particular position equal to 1 so for that let's take an example number 18 which in binary is represented as 10010 and I want to make the bit at position 1 us at position 2 a set bit I want to make its value equal to 1 now if you recall the uh, if you recall the properties of the OR operator then the output is 1 if at least one of the inputs is 1 so if we OR this number with another number which has a set bit at that particular position then we should get the result that we desire now let's make the changes in this function to implement the current logic so i'll change this function to set bit and instead of doing all this i'll i will return an integer which is n or one left shift position the return type to int and let's receive that uh, return over here now i made this function called print bits which helps us to visualize better what's happening under the hood so print bits n i'll call it before and after we do the uh, setting operation now on 
sir running it we see here that before it was 18 and the bit here was unset and after we performed the operation the number is 22 the bit here is set now the last operation which is clearing a bit which means to make the value of the set bit to 0 for that we will again take the number 22 which in binary is represented as 10110 and I want to make the bit at position 2 equal to 0 so for that I'll do nothing but just perform an XOR operation of that given number with a number which has a set bit at that position and this should clear the bit at that position there is not much changes involved for that I just need to change this to clear bit and make this operator as XOR and change here the name as well now it should give me there you go 22 you have the set bit and after performing the operation you have the number 18 with a unset bit at that position So these were the three fundamental operations which are often used in bit manipulation but observation also plays a key role in solving these type of problems. You have to play around with the bits with the integer itself to find some pattern which might not be visible to you at the first sight. We will take two simple examples so that you can get an idea out of it. The first question is to calculate the number of set bits in a binary number. Now. Just pause the video, think about it for 5 minutes and then we'll continue. So the most brute force approach to the solution would be to just iterate through each bit of that binary number and check if that bit is set or not. And if it is set then just increment the count variable. So let's look at the implementation which I've already done before. The print bits function which I used before actually works entirely on this principle. I uh, calculated the total number of bits using this method uh, let's ignore this and initialize a count variable equal to 0 and then I iterate through each single bit of that binary number and if that bit if that particular bit is set then I increment the count variable and in the end I just print out the final result but is there any optimized solution to this approach well there is actually one let me explain it to you through an example. If I take a number 56, which I can represent in binary as 11000. If I want to write 55 in binary, then it would be 110111. Let's take another case where I take the number 40, which is represented as 10. 1000 and 40 minus 139 is written as 100111. Now, if you observe carefully, then you can see that you can write the number n minus 1 from n if you flip all the numbers to the right of the rightmost set bit in the number n. Similarly, you can see here you can just flip all the bits to the right of the rightmost set bit and you can get the number n minus 1 so if i and the numbers n n n minus 1 which is 56 and 55 in this case then i get 11000 which is actually 48 if i perform the similar operation again then we get this number which is 32 and then performing this operation again we get 0 the number of operations are 3 which is actually equal to the number of set bits in the original number 56 and that is the solution to this approach we just calculate the number of times we can perform this operation so let's look at the code for this i'll create another function end count bits which takes the number n 
for style initialize account variable to zero and then run a while loop and check if n is equal to zero or not at every iteration and if it is not just increment the count variable and set n as n and n minus one and in the end just return the count variable so let's just test this function over here count bits n and the n we took was 56 now let's run this oh we forgot to we have to actually print it out so on printing in printing it we should get 3 there it goes we get the answer 3 if I type the number uh, 40 then it should give me value 2 and there you go now the next question is to flip all the bits of your binary number n so let's take 10 as an example for this number now just give me a second okay now 10 can be represented in binary as 1010 which i want to convert to 0101 flipping all the bits of this number now if you recall how an xor operator works 1 xor 1 gives 0 and 0 xor 1 gives 1 so if i perform an xor operation of this original number with another temporary number which has the number of bits same as the original number but with all of them set then i would get a result which has all of its bits flipped with respect to the original number but the question is how would i get this temporary number over here so let's say i consider an another number n which is 1 and then 4 times 0 then n minus 1 can be written as 0 and then 4 times 1 which can be explained from the previous example uh, flipping all the bits to the right of the rightmost set bit including it and we can neglect the 0 over here and this is the number which has been used over here so let's look at how would we code this so i'll create a new function called flip bits which takes in an integer n i'll count the number of bits using this method n then i'll add one to it because this number n has the number of bits one greater than the number of bits of the original number so now we create this temp by using one left shift bits and then subtracting one from it and we will just return n xor temp which is this thing right over here so i'll call this function and pass the value 10 into it i will also print the bits of the number before and after we call this function so that you can see what's happening i'll call this function here as well and then now on running it you should see the result 10 okay so you caught 101 over here but which is this number only it has just neglected the zero so we have got the correct result that's it for this video if you liked it please like share comment and subscribe as it keeps me motivated to make more such videos for you i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching